two off, but I want to check in with our chief meteorologist, Brad Panovich, who is at Lake Murray, because they are going to experience exactly what you just experienced in a matter of moments. Brad? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's like a weird Instagram filter kind of feel to the lighting. It is just so eerie uh, to see it getting dark right now. And right now we are literally, it looks like just about a minute away from totality here, but it's been getting progressively darker. We felt it cooler. We're starting to hear some of those nocturnal animals and birds that you typically hear right around sunset. You can look behind me. Um, you can see everyone on the, on the dock still looking up because they still have to wear their glasses until 1.41 one our time here on Lake Murray we are going to have 60 seconds away I am actually listening to my timer on my phone which is counting me down so it just gave me a 60 second heads up that we're going to be in totality in 60 seconds and we could see shadow bands uh, away from uh, right now away from the sun. Now, if you're in Charlotte, you're probably going to see Venus and Saturn in the sky. Here where we are, we're likely gonna see a lot of stars. Now it is getting really dark right now. We're about 30 seconds away from totality right now. 30 seconds, guys, 30 seconds. So you can see everyone behind me getting prepared and this is really starting to freak people out. 20 seconds to totality here. I got my camera on my arm, so bear with me if I put it, put the mic down for a second. I want to get a picture of the corona. Uh, the lights in the yard have just kicked on. And look now, you guys can see, I'm going to get out of the way and let the scene speak for itself. But there it comes. Oh my gosh. P Stuart, aim it up, aim it up. Unbelievable. You can take your glasses off. Wow. Just unbelievable. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I can see Venus up in the sky. It feels like the middle of the night right now. It is unbelievable. It's, it is eerie. You can almost imagine how ancient humans seeing this for the first time must have thought the end of the world was coming because it is just such an eerie sight. It almost doesn't look real. You can see the corona. You can see on the horizon, it looks like one continuous twilight all the way around the horizon, 360 degrees. All the solar lights in the yard here, the buoy and channel markers out in the lake have all kicked on. And it's just this unbelievable feeling. This is honestly one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And it has dropped. The temperature has probably dropped in the last minute or so, maybe about 20 minutes or so. It's dropped about five to 10 degrees. I'm gonna try to turn our light off here. Um, I'm gonna flip it off here. So there you go. So we're going to see the light come back here in a second. So yeah, you can still shoot it, Stuart. So we look at the horizon. It is just a weird, weird feeling because the light is not coming from the sun right now. It's actually coming from the horizon. Now, if we look off to the west, we can see the, the end of the shadow heading our way. The clouds on the horizon are already starting to get illuminated as the sun is starting to come back out on the edge of the shadow, which is now moving away from us. I can still see Saturn and Venus in the sky, but I'm starting to see the other edge of the, the the sunlight appears the corona is starting to get a little lopsided that's a sign now if you watch carefully everybody look off in the distance here this is the sun coming back it'll come at us pretty quickly and you can hear everyone on the boats on the lake um, it is eerie i don't know if you guys can hear but there's crickets there's birds um, it does the crickets are out i'm looking for fireflies right now i don't really see any but the crickets are out right now it feels like it's the middle of the night it is really really weird so we're we're still watching it it is an amazing feeling but here we go we're going to go back to sunlight here shortly here it comes guys glasses back on glasses back on here we go and now it's brightening back up. Put your glasses back on, everybody. So it's here we go. Brad now the Panovich sun is coming back out, and oh, now yeah. we're going back to that eerie light. So pretty amazing. We're going to turn our light back on, and just like that, there's light again. 
I mean, you, you could think about it as much about science as we know. Could you imagine not knowing any of this was going on and just one day this happening? It must have been frightening to so many people uh, before we understood our atmosphere, our solar system and how all this stuff worked. And now the sunlight comes back out and we get to watch the whole second half of this. So that was kind of halftime. That was a great halftime show. And now we're going to get to see the second half of this partial eclipse. Just spectacular, guys. This definitely is on my top of my list of anything I've ever got to witness firsthand. It was amazing. I can't even put it into words. It was so cool. I hope you guys got to see some of it back in Charlotte because this is why I came down to Lake Murray for this. Charlotte, we saw the temperature drop. It went from 91 to 86 degrees. And I have to tell you, just being here and hearing the excitement in Brad Panovich's voice, because I know how much he loves this stuff. He lives for this, folks. If you don't know, Brad Panovich is a scientist. He is a meteorologist, meteorology. He loves this stuff. So we know uh, we've been planning at the station for this for quite some time. Brad has been planning for this probably for a couple of years. Um, it's just a beautiful sight. If you are witnessing this, you are witnessing something very special happen. Brad, if you're still there, I would love to ask you. We've talked about this so much. There's been so much buildup. I know you're there with your kids. Can you talk about what this experience yeah. was like for you now that it's come and gone? Come here. Come here. I'm trying to get my son over here to ask him. He's got this like big grin on his face, but I think he's scared to talk about what he just <laughs> saw. It was funny because, I mean, you guys were probably like this as well. You know, we had all these people over. People knew the eclipse was going on. And I'll even tell it. Stuart, my, my photographer, and Pierre in the truck, they were kind of like, yeah, I don't know. This, I know why we're here. But then they started to see the sun uh, disappear with the solar glasses. And they were like, oh, now you kind of get it. Because you're like, this is pretty amazing. Even the kids, some of the teenagers here were like, yeah, whatever. I first gave them the, the solar glasses and the projector. And all of a sudden, they're like, wow, that is cool. I think it really kind of hit people when they got to see it for real and realize, wow, this is a pretty cool event. They heard about it for months and months and months and probably thought, ah, it's no big deal. But when, when they saw it, you should have seen the looks on their faces. That is so cool, you know, and we are seeing these images and this reaction over and over again. I want to check in now with our British.